Hey there, either there, and welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now, before I start it, I just want to let you guys know that I do know some sad stuff happens in this episode, and we're going to be delving into uh, Rocket's past, which has to do with animal testing, I believe. So this is going to, I know this is going to probably make me tear up at least. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> And I feel like out of all the characters in the Guardians group, Rocket and Groot are the ones I'm the most attached to. Like, everyone else is good, but if any of them died, I'd probably be like, aw. But I wouldn't be as affected as if Rocket dies or has really traumatic passes stuff, so. Can't wait for this. And we're starting off with Baby Rocket. We're gonna see Baby Rocket. Wait, are all these his siblings? No, they can't be all siblings. Raccoons don't have that many babies. Oh, there is Rocket. Oh, they're already in the testing lab. Great. God. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. The fact they all they're that young and they already feared this person that much. Aw, little Rocket. Don't you hurt baby Rocket! Now he's an adult. Amazing the animation, like on the, the detail on the fur and everything. What experiments did they go do on him to make him like anthropomorphic? Because obviously he wasn't born this way, so. Not just Mantis. Also, how old is Rocket? Come on, Drax. Dance. Only idiots dance. So you're calling Mantis an idiot. Okay, I mean, not the smartest tool in the shed. Or sharpest tool in the shed, I should say. Oh, Groot's a full-on big boy. Nathan Fillion in the, I remember, yeah, that's another thing I heard that he was in this movie. Can't wait to see him. I mainly know him from Castle and uh, voicing Cade from Destiny 2, the video game. Sylvester Stallone's in this too? Wait. Wasn't he in the second one, too? So did they bring him back? I know the whistle guy is gone because he got killed in the second one. All right? Yeah, he did. There's Quinn. You are drunk. Oh, he's, yeah, beyond drunk. What is that Rock is drinking? It looks like a boba drink, kind of, but not... Doesn't have to go... Oh, hi. I remember seeing the behind the scenes of that body where it's actually a dummy body. Oh, that's right. This is, isn't this after, um, was it Gamora was dead? So that's why he's drinking like that. But yeah, I know that's a dummy body that looks like really super realistic and it even has like a breathing apparatus, apparatus in it. Gamora. I like the detail on this city. Nowhere, Gardens HQ. So what are you gonna do about Quill? Me? You're just hanging up there. Wait, are you magnetized? I want to see if these new gravity boots worked on a slope. Oh, gravity boots, okay. Oh, he's wearing the whistle guy's helmet. I'm sorry, it looks way better on the other guy. I would not mess with that either. You think you could do better? The dog. Like I know it's animated, but and the fact the dog is freaking Russian. <laughs> Impressive. You're a bad dog. Do not say that to me. You are. You're a bad dog. She just doesn't remember anything from the past few years. Nobody told me uh. nothing. Mantis. Why don't you just touch him? I'm not gonna lie, those look kind of yummy. Well, that was funny. That was funny. You <laughs> I mean, you play feelings when it's way. funny, but not. <laughs> I wonder what they used for that. Like, what did they make those out of? Just ground chicken or something, and then they molded them into the shape of those frog rat looking things? I'm sorry, who are you? You look like a mixture between Captain Marvel and Captain Planet. That must have to do with the past. We're gonna see scars. 
You go, squirrel. Squirrel. Oh, wait, you look like you're painted bronze. Can we just talk first? Did he just pop her jaw? Yeah, fire doesn't. I mean, fire is pretty effective against trees. Hey, don't rip him apart. We just got him back. <laughs> Or he just, he just went through childhood, babyhood, childhood, and now teenagerhood. You gonna whistle? Accidentally stab him in the chest with it? Oh. oh my god. Okay, can we not bully Rocket? Bone crack noise. Oh. Pick on someone your own size. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Drax. Oh, not the sign. We need med packs. What happened to Rocket? <laughs> this got serious all of a sudden. What the fudge happened? Oh, it all. <laughs> That's Nebula for you. But what the fudge did he do to Rocket when he slammed into him? Okay, enough cracking noises, please. Ugh. Oh, wait. Did he get stabbed? Who is this guy? What the fudge happened to Rocket when he got hit by this guy? It's got so serious, so sad. I'm Groot. Also, that's kind of freaky and like looking. This is head crab. Ugh. That would be like that reminds me of head crabs. Wouldn't be Groot be going to Rocket? Because I know Rocket and Groot are like really close. Oh, he lives. Stitch him up and transfer him in with the rest of batch 89. Oh. Oh, animal testing. I'm not going to enjoy this. No oh, little baby rocket. Oh, what did they do? Cut open his brain? It's okay. They cut her arms it's off? Us now. It's a new guy. What kind of thing is A you? walrus. You've got like a mask on With a face. wheelchair? Look at him, all shaky. Now this movie's already gonna make me tear up. I can't. Oh, it's so dirty. You're gonna be okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! So he'll die if we operate on him. Oh. He's got maybe forty-eight hours. So that guy will, did come there for Rocket. That's why Rocket looks so scared when he got away from him. Kill a few people. Kill a few. Kill one guy, one stupid guy who no one loves. Now you're just making it fast. She's Drax. It's like we'll find one cannon fought, like one fodder person. Can you please take it back? I will not. That's literally how Hello, dogs are, too. If they actually the could speak, I feel like they would be just like that. Man, they just kicked this right off the bat. I know this movie's gonna have quite a few copyright songs. I know that for a fact. Got a kill switch on him? And meanwhile, he's gonna be having PTSD flashbacks. Ah, this is so happy, but also sad, because look at those shitty condition they're in. Where is his back? Did they cut his bottom half off? Oh, her legs were cut off. I want to think that's such a cute moment, but it's also really disturbing. He does not die. I tried what the to fudge? You, Are those pigs in a... Yes, there's something wrong with me. I was stabbed, you extraordinary ass. He doesn't know any better. We should do whatever you require. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Oh, is that a planet? It looks like freaking tissue. Like, like living tissue. What 
is that? That looks like a butthole. The orgoscope. Is this supposed to look like a booty hole? Instead of being built, it's grown from living matter. Oh, no. that's why it looks like flesh. They broke through the hymen. You had family on Earth. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, but also sorry. Are you gonna reach third base? They die when they're 50? I don't know, something like that. What's even the point of being born? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, humans even die when they're newborn, so. And maybe I want into Zargnaz. It's too late. They're all gone. I was gonna say that look she gave him earlier looked like she was gonna say, "What about me?" Because that would be me. Oh hell. Oh hi. Sylvester Crash. is one of them. Or you can die. How's up to you? That's a nice greeting. Oh, hi. Diamond head. That's a cute axolotl puppy. Oh, Gamora's with them. Is that how they greet each other? Just <laughs> Not even words, just grunts. This isn't my color. Does it matter, Drax, really? It clashes with my eyes. <laughs> The laugh emoji? Are you serious? Because I didn't want you to get freaked out. Freaked out. Like that. That's creep. That's squeak. Or go centuries. Now I know you don't have documentation. They look like Teletubbies mixed with sausages. On your own and help you save the hedgehog. But if you get hedgehog. into trouble, we will not He's a raccoon. You. That's correct, P13. Very good. Not even my name, my freaking number. And turn it into a song. This is like science okay. that's like twisted. Perfect. And we're halfway there, aren't we? Instead of seeing things as they are being perfect, it's he me. wants you them improve I'm or make sure it better. In a really twisted way. To create the perfect species and the perfect society. You. P13. What, raccoon people? A part of any organism through millions of years of program. That a turtle changes. Is that turtle or tortoise? In a moment. That's a box turtle, I think. What the fudge? Is this something Ninja Turtles has made? Is this literally Ninja Turtles homage? Easter egg? A utopia can't have its denizens murdering one another, can it? It can't. 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 Teal. Is he really upset over something as simple as that? What do you say? The Ligo Beta Microsimian approaching. Yeah, thems. And then yeah, thems. Angry turtles. When a raccoon is smarter than the humans. I love how he corrects him on the can or can't, but then he goes, yeah, thems. Now, I'm sorry for making this joke, but. Among Us. <laughs> they really look like Among Us. Or Tic Tac flavors, M&Ms, the list goes on. I love that Mantis is just like free floating everywhere, just not even. <laughs> it's actually smart here for a suit that eat, they have like jet, little mini jets on each section of your limb. Ew. Why is the juice yellow or liquid? Did he just radio in on her? I don't think so. 
Well, what I'm trying to say is... Peter, you know this is an open line, right? What? We're listening to everything you're saying. Oops. It is painful. And you're just telling me now? We were Emotionally painful. On its own. Yellow is for green. Green is for red. And red is for yellow. Is somebody colorblind? Yellow is green. I don't think so. Try it then. Hello! Yeah. You were right. Can we get back to saving our friend? <laughs> it's like... Ready to change the shield. It's like, ah, uh, there's other important things to take care of here. Oh. Of course, Jax can't fit through. Guys, I mean, you want to talk about a sweet ride? Nathan! Oh, yeah. Really, because I just made that up. Man, you still look like you haven't aged since the last time I saw you in Castle. You better hurry before that thing starts sealing. It's an actual eyeball. Ow. Of course, Nathan had to be part of the bad guy group. I'm sorry, you guys look ridiculous in those outfits. Don't tell me those suits are made of living tissue too. Oh man. You're all like out of breath. That's not sussy at all. What the hell was that, guys? Were you kidding me? What? Good thing Quinn's fast on his feet. You want us to read the manual for you too, bro? Mantis! In I mean, can't you see these authentic mechanic uniforms that we're wearing on our bodies? That blend in with some of our- Alright, somebody needs to shut others? up, Jax. Yeah, I- I got one of those too. For me. This one? This one. But uh, this one, I just. That poor guy. The t <laughs> What the fudge? Oh, there goes their suits. Our space suits! Ben, it expels stuff into space the moment you shut the door. That would have been helpful for me yeah. three minutes ago. I was gonna yeah, say, if you could read what it. What you ever think? Oh, were you pretending to be angry again? Mantis, you asshole! Guys, just focus. Drax, that's your seconds. woman. <laughs> we need to save Rocket's life. I'm sorry. If my life was in the hands of these guys, I'd be both scared and hopeful. That's white. It's not my fault. I don't know something. I'm gonna need to see you. You're hopelessly in love with him. <laughs> she switches it to Drax. Hey. I mean, they're both big burly men. That is such a lovely name. Mantis is having fun with this. I'll the door for you. Every single time. <laughs> She's a little gremlin. I'm excited for you that you get to see this again for the first time. Is he gonna get kicked in the nuts? Hey, my name's Patrick Swayze. I've been noticing you for quite a while. Patrick the way that you smile to Swayze. Yourself. I kind of thought you were a douchebag. Oh, come on. <laughs> what file? Wonder if that feels like touching slime. Whoa. Species patented over the years using Orgocorp tech. How many? Has created as its own individual file. Oh my lord. It wasn't me. It sounds more like her. Her? Huh? That's ridiculous, man. <laughs> they look at each other. <laughs> oh, I gotta see that again. I'm sorry. It sounds more like her. Her? What? That's ridiculous, man. Don't even. Don't even. <laughs> Knock it off! Look at me like a lost puppy. Needed a soft place to lie down. I didn't say anything. Didn't need to. It was your look. As a method of torture. See, we picked a pretty set. There. What if that makes Kamora jealous? Oh. Uh. Oh. Why is everything like ushy gushy and nasty? Yeah, no, can't take them seriously at all. 
Honestly, Gamora right now is more like Nebula when they first met her. We should make a run for it. No, he wants to fight and kill someone. I don't think they care about her. You like dancing. The guy just dancing and not caring. Let's kill that one that looks like a carrot to show we mean business. God, past Gamora is just mean. She was always like that. I can't. I really can't. I want to like I'm trying like this is like some. Like, it's going to be sad with Rocket's backstory and stuff. And then you have touching moments between Gamora and, like, uh, Quinn. But then you freaking have, like, Bubble Eyes McGee right here. Let's kill that one that looks like a carrot to show we mean business. God, past Gamora's <laughs> just mean. <sighs> I really thought I was going to die there. And this poor lady. Yeah, she was my girlfriend, only... She doesn't remember it because it wasn't her. Because her dad Uda, like, cliff and she died is and more concerned about the gun and pointing at her shoulder. Universe. That girl died. And then came back a total dick. <laughs> Where's Nathan? You're ready to enter the sphincter. Oh, they landed in the yellow goo. The corporate shells, you idiot. They're not gonna listen. They will listen if I speak to them from my heart. Maybe if you okay. dance. <laughs> now it's gonna be like that scene on Willy Wonka. Nathan! That's a more pain. About what? Oh, nothing in particular. In fact, he's British. Lila. 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 Free name. I think my name shall be Teefs. Teefs. Because although we all do have them, mine are definitely the most prominent. <laughs> Chief, you're lying on a floor, so your name is Floor? <laughs> floor? It really is good to have friends. Yeah. <laughs> Start the incision here. Keep calm. Yeah, you're not going to show this, are you? Still, the biometric say was this man. Recorder E2H6. The guy they bumped I saw into. This guy outside of records today. Yes, what? That he's Groot? He said maybe this man downloaded the passkey into the computer on his head. Huh? You got all that from yeah. I'm Groot? <laughs> the pass key. What he wants is that gutted badger in the med bay, and you're gonna bring it badger? to him? People who care about you, I know that's who you still are. Somewhere inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit about your Gamora. Life made me me. I have a few. Screw all of you. Adam. Adam. Yes, mother. Show him we mean business. Oh, so that is his mom. What are you eating? A beet? Poor axolotl creature. Actually, that skeleton looks kind of like the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean yes, skeleton. The face did, at least. Oh, I think we can arrange that. Really, Gamora, you can't tell it's a trap. You need to say to him exactly what I told you to say. He's well, not. No one ever listens to me. <laughs> <laughs> then what do you mean? Maybe Drax won't listen to you then. Learn to swim. 
He actually remembered it. That actually made sense. Yes, it made sense. That came from Mantis, I mean, didn't it? This is yesterday. I made a poop shaped like a fish. Even my. I don't think we need to know that. Of making an analogy. Hey, Mantis. Oh. <laughs> He's like, that's where the metaphor came from. Okay. <laughs> What are you guys How doing? Do you know about the micro semino proteins? P13. Not the baby kangaroo. Come on, man. Not the rabbit. The monkey. Ah. All right, okay, there. I know they're animations, but come on. I feel feel bad for. Why is the guy panicking so much over this? P13. Uh, it was too is this, filtration. Is this guy really that threatened? But is is he like having a meltdown because a raccoon is smarter than he is? Is this really what's happening right now? I made you. How did you know? Wow, this guy has a big ego. Does ego? <laughs> this guy has a big ego, doesn't he? He just cannot believe that a raccoon he made. Is smarter than him. Medley of mistakes we could learn from and apply to the creatures that truly mattered. Wow. Figure out the complex workings of cytoplasmic filtration systems, but you couldn't figure out that. Listen here, Bucko. You couldn't even figure out the whole filtration system, and you made him. So that means he's smarter than you are. So that means you're imperfect. He's more perfect than you are. So technically, you don't deserve that world either, huh? Not. Nah. I don't like people like this. For surgery and removal in the morning. Ah. What about the rest of Batch 89, Sai? He's going to kill him. Incinerate them. Oh, uh, I really hope this guy gets his comeuppance. Earth? Counter Earth? What's Counter Earth? That looks just like. <sighs> it's his copy. It's his perfect copy. Are they all animals? Oh God, he's a statue. Ew. They're gonna be animals. Is this the planet of furries? This is his perfect world. A mix of uh, animals turned into human? Is that a capybara? Not capybara, a uh, cassaway? I forgot what the bird was called. This is literally a furry's paradise. And I'm not against furries or anything, I'm just joking, but like, this is, <laughs> what the fun? I mean, this would be a furry's paradise. You could wear your stuff and nobody, nobody would care. Oh, Drax! Oh, Rex. Ha, <laughs> yeah, Drax. A bat? Kaiju? All I imagine is Vin Diesel in the, the voice booth going, da, da, da. <laughs> I will train him not to do that. To act of blasphemy even having it here. Kill it now. No! Which means the squirrel is also. Squirrel? Everyone's calling him by the wrong thing. Badger, squirrel. All the other rodents, but. Well, actually, raccoon's not a rodent, but. Really, this music? I'm just curious. I'm just curious if they're pure animals. It's not like they've mixed human with animals. If these are pure animals, I've just been like, I was gonna say human humanified, but like anthropomorph. They're not even anthropomorphic because they're full on like mostly human, but with like animal features. Um. I wonder if they would keep, like, their, some of the, abil not abilities, but, like, their capabilities they have. Like, bats have the super, like, the hearing or echolocation. So, I wonder if they have any of that. Or if they're just full-on, like, pretty much just humans, but a look like animals. Thank you. What's up? They're bats. They can Our... hear. Thank you, Mantis. That's already done. Why do you criticize everything? What is the problem? <laughs> These guys, I swear. Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, dying. Uh, dumbass. See? It's the same. All right, guys. <laughs> Can I proceed, please, to try to save our friend? I can't. Drax, I see you. I Put him in a chair. None of this in finding 
a man. Uh, Watch him actually speak I'm English the whole time. He has a thing. That is delightful. Like this. Is that Japanese writing on there? Have you seen Looks like Ramune. This man. Wow, that's a horrible that's drawing. Very good. No, it's not. Is that your car in the driveway? I love how it's a perfect world, but they're still using regular cars. Put down on it. What? Put it down. I am pushing down. She's used to shifts, and not cars. There's a button under the handle. Press that. In. <laughs> okay. Now what? Open the fucking door. <laughs> stupid design. And your instructions were very unclear. That press. <laughs> very unclear. That's hilarious. Picking someone who like so used to spaceships and all this technology, but then goes back to a car and it's just like. You want me to drive? No. I'll drive. I don't want you to drive. No. I got this. Okay. That poor car. They're not getting it back undamaged. The copyright music in this movie is insane. Oh my god, Ernie or Arnie. I forgot the name of that pu puppet. Does he have any photos of him and Gamora? Roaches? And an octopus? Was that a porcupine? The perfect society. Yeah, I was gonna say it was as perfect. I think he's just out of his mind. Just because someone can doesn't mean they should. But will she be ready for the new colony? New colony? Is he gonna make another earth? That pig is literally just half of Is it just a skin? I can't tell, it's creepy. He's clean. Let's go. That's a girl. Hey. It'll be okay. Ugh. This Guardians is definitely darker. Like it's got ridiculous moments as per a Guardian movie, but it's also got some really dark moments. Whoa. And speaking of dark moments. Oh god, what's gonna happen? Jeez. Oh, so you're an asshole too. Mr. Uh, I don't care or anything. Yeah, you, you take it out on those smaller than you. Has he taken those this whole time? He's kept all those this whole time. Wow. They are gonna set us free. Yes, they are, okay. Oh no. I'm 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 guessing I, I know what's gonna happen to, to her. Something's gonna happen with her, because I have seen a, like a screenshot of her laying on the ground. Why do I feel like it was the like what's killing Rocket right now in the current time? Why do I feel like her thing goes off and kills her? When they go to escape. But then why didn't they kill Rocket? Unless he wanted his unless his brain was too valuable, so he didn't want him to die. <sighs> We're going to the new world any day now. No, I'm not. No, you're not. Oh, that's the thing he has what that he that? looked at. And then we'll all fly away together. The four of us. Just like we always said, okay? I mean they're gonna die either way. You want to move fast, though. So you gonna let them all out, or just him and his friends? That's really smart. I don't think they've ever touched either. It really is good to have oh. I, I knew it. Aww. Yes. Oh, please. Yes, thank you. Wow, good shots for someone for a rec for someone who's never picked up a gun. Aww. Wow. Oh, the blood pool. Wow, so they don't shoot him, they shoot his friends. Because they were ordered not to hurt him. 
Oh, now you're shooting at him. Before it was, let's shoot the friends first and not him. Now let's shoot him. Okay. Poor Rocket, Jiminy Christmas. I thought it was her device in her chest, like their whatever went off. Tracks. Just right over there? Yeah. What? Okay. Does he even have any scars from that attack? With some of the finest in the universe. He has no scars from that attack. Whose mother didn't love him, rationalizing why he needs to conquer the universe. <laughs> I'm not trying to conquer the universe. I'm trying to perfect I'm it. it. Yeah. Uh huh. That's what you got. That good, Mora. Oh my god. Oh. Warp it. Oh. Hey! Drop the badger. Oh. Gently. Do you want three? I am Groot. He says, suck. My Why are you so angry? Woody? Because I know which better universes generally don't include a bunch of octopuses selling meth to guys with cockroach heads. Yeah. They do not. <laughs> he admits it. I'm going to have to raise it all and start again. Wow, you really have no, like, care for life. <laughs> That's a lot of screaming. And I need the credit, chum. To save my entire civilization. So be a good creepy Pig thing. thing and back off. That's why I didn't. So it wasn't even uh -oh. why it was like a robot. At least it was more robot than pig anymore. I'm sorry, was this whole ship? Oh, never mind. I thought that was an egg, a leg or something. I was gonna say, was this like the whole planet? No, the people that helped them. Aw. Oh. Oh, and there goes the urine everywhere. Wow, he's literally nuking the whole planet. Oh, is he gonna help them now because his mother's been killed? His fault. <laughs> Don't look at me. It was so obviously a trap. It's not a trap. It's the a face off. off. Now kill them all. Kaiju. Octo Groot. I mean, is that gonna keep the head guy away though? Like, he's got really strong powers. Oh my god. Yeah, Mantis doesn't have quite the grip strength, I don't think. Yeah, I like the animal spare, or beg for their life too. That'd be premature. Huh? Here's the mountain one. Oh! Okay. The bot the other body just goes slipping out. Did this sprout wings? Okay. Birdman. Quill and Quill are inside! We have to get them out! Oh, they're no, they just went. Whoa. Holy! Don't break the ship. Good. And now he's dead. Well, pull harder. Uh, harder. Harder. Pull it harder. Let's go. Great driving.
Well, they think they're still on there, so they're gonna try and find. What about the handle? It was like a turn thing right there. Wow, you're strong, Drax. Oh my god, are those the cages? Oh, they're all the... Oh, they're all... <laughs> That's like not children we have to save now. I push him. That language isn't in my translator. He's teaching him a completely new language. So is this a, this must be to turn it off. Okay. He's close to death. That's why he's singer. That's so sad. They cut her arms off. Called him Quill. No! Quill. No. Quill. I'm not gonna lose him. He's gone. I'm not letting him go. He doesn't want to lose someone else. Like it's happy to see them, but at the same time, it's so sad. But not yet. What was done, some? You still have a purpose here. Hmm. My beloved raccoon. Aww. This story has been yours all along. You just didn't know it. I'm not a raccoon. Whoa. Okay. Of, of course, at the end there, he literally said he corrects. <laughs> I'm not a, wait, I just realized everyone's not been calling him a raccoon, and he's always pushed for not being called a raccoon. Okay, I get it now. Also, what makes that kind of sadder with uh, Lila is that I literally just watched a video a couple days ago of this Japanese family um, in Japan where they own river otters that are from Japan, and in Japan they're legal to own as pets, and they're literally like dogs. Like, they're so... Like, like I highly suggest, those of you who haven't seen it before, look up just Japanese uh, otter pets, um, and I think they're the ones that are going to show up, but... They recently, or not recently, maybe a few months ago, lost uh, a young one of theirs. And it was just so touching and sad. And so seeing her, I think she's based off of the same species of otter. Um, but it's just seeing her getting shot and dying and all this stuff just, like, reminds me of that. Because that video made me cry, too. <laughs> the passkey's going through. She literally shoved him out like, no, it's not your time. She's smiling. She's tearing up. Where's Nebula? Because the code is on the comm behind you. They're <laughs> so busy with him, they don't notice. What? Nebula? Yeah, he's here. And he's okay. <laughs> Nebula is even crying. <laughs> get somebody get that camera. Rocket. Oh my god, there's the duck. I forgot his name, but he's the duck that was from the first. No. He was. Me. I don't want to talk over, but that's. Oh my God! Was it? What was the name of the duck? He was in the one of the. He was in that sellers thing, and I think it was the uh, Infinity War or something like that. Whichever one it was that they had him in a tube, and I remember like the like the Marvel fans calling out and going like, "Oh my God, that's blah 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 the duck!" And oh my God, he's out of the tube and now. He's playing poker. This is killing us. I can't take it back if she is in fact. A bad dog. If she died, you wouldn't call her that. We need to save Nebula, Mantis, and Drax, and we need your help. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> the Hellspawn had it, sire. But but, 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 This guy is just a big, screaming, emotional one. baby. In hundreds of years of our creations, only one has known true invention. Rocket. <laughs> Oh, 
Mantis, you just don't fall well, do you? You are certainly not a cat. Um, are there animals down there? Creatures? He doesn't know about the children. You! Don't need to yell. We need and tell them to stay away from the freaking what the hell are you doing, Mantis? Explaining it, dickhead! <laughs> and he made the children cry. Way to go. Beep. I love how the, are they all Asian? Beats me. Robot monkey. Okay, mind they're not all Asian. That sounds like a cross between a robot and a duck. He knows how to speak their language. He knows how to speak their language? Why didn't you tell us you knew their language this whole time? Why didn't you ask? Uh, this could be beautiful. I think it would have come in handy a little earlier, though. Well, I guess. Let's do this. Out of his bag, your ass. You picked it out. Oh, here comes the backup. That is skull. That's a giant skull. Now oh, that's a naked mole rat. Third barrel. How many barrels? Fifth. <laughs> wow, aren't you a concophony of octopus beaver? I can't tell what he is. What the fuck? Is that a different creature? I thought the thing getting up was it. Right. How are they gonna fit all these children in their ships? It's not that big, I don't think. I mean, Rocket's technically flying with his friends right now. Oh. Ew. Oh. This guy again. Dude, the people you work for literally killed your mother. Uh. Oh. Oh, that's the whole place! Is this gonna be like a sacrifice thing? Not sacrifice, but like an arena and all the creatures are gonna be there. Holy! What are those? Oh, at least you don't- They spit rainbow lava? I'm sorry, what? You're really gonna need your whistling needle right now, bud. It's good that that ship can take that. Really, dude. One more step and this weird thing gets it. Don't be rash. Don't be rash. <laughs> yes, please don't hurt the monkey axolotl creature. What are you doing? Can she communicate with him? It's okay. Mantis, stop. Shush. Let her do her thing. They eat batteries, not people. Maybe they're just scared of what we are gonna do to them. Melly breath, I would think. That's a lot of teeth. Maybe use them to go and eat the ship? Battery? Dude, you're gonna have to use your needle. Step up to the plate. You're wearing the amazing guy's thing. I forgot what it's called. Now's your time. Like that would be the perfect thing to take out all these things. Heart, boy. Was that his dad? Must have been. They kind of look alike. Good dog. A dog. Oh, she's a good dog. <laughs> Oh, 
Bush. You have an irrational obsession with this animal. You must stop for God's sake. There is no God. That's why I stepped in. What's his backstory? Mutiny. I would have laughed at the picture in the middle, just point a gun to. Controller, damage sectors of the ship, and retreat. Did he just obliterate everyone in that room? I mean, I already knew this guy was off the hinges when he went to go find Rocket when Rocket was little. And he got that pissed over Rocket being smarter than him. Check me. Even I be one three. And kill the rest. How are they gonna know what A9P13 is? Like, I don't, unless they all have a database in their head. Oh, wait, never mind. This is a different song. We go in there, we, we get them, and we get them. Oh, it's gonna be the three of them. Wee! Tracks flops to the floor. Did that look cool? Yes. Okay. New game plan. We probably cool. So you've looked now. this entire of on the ship. series Maybe and probably in an Infinity War too. Huh? That's where he ran out from. I'm done running. Go rocket. Do the badass slow walk. Kamora's like. Are y'all crazy? <laughs> the rolling of the eyes. The little axolotl. Oh. Ooh. You can kind of see how the legs of these things are kind of like what the rabbit had. So it's like he was figuring things out through experimenting through them. His perfection, perfected experiments. Even though Rocket's still the best. Did he just stick a bomb to his butt? Ooh. Oh, her head! That looks so wrong. Ow, ow, ow! Jiminy Christmas! Oh, it's carnage. You wow. Okay. <laughs> what? Um, it's this way to uh, I was screaming at something scary behind you, not you. You look really cool. She recovered from that actually quite well. Tell me if you want. Wait, let him go. Collect tickets our only chance. I got a space. <laughs> <party. laughs> let him go. <laughs> when the bad guys actually have a brain and it's like, yeah, he's right. We can't get out without him. That's a big ship she's piling. Whoa. A little close. I love the voice. I, who's the voice actress for her? I, I love her voice. Just run, just run. Jump, run. One by one, one by one. What? Can't they all, it's literally a step down. Just let them all jump off. You saved me. Why? I'm Groot. Why are you doing this? I tried to kill you. Why are you so slow? He has a score to settle. Is he saying Domo? Is it because a lot of them are Asian? They still have an animal area. He couldn't save his friends, but he could save them. 
Aww. Because he wanted to replicate what he made with Rocket. Look at them. They may be animated, but they're so cute. He still has that too. Does this still work? After all these years, did he never change the locks? Wow. Look how little they are. Not raccoon. Why is this going to be the part that gets me? Are you only saving them? Raccoon! I mean, not raccoon. Rocket, all the time you're staring at them, you can open all their gates. No! You thought you could escape me! Oh, you. No! Uh. You think you have some worth in and of yourself without me? No! No. You're an abomination! Not you're one to talk. The Name's boots. Rocket. Bitch. Rocket. Raccoon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they all get a hand in beating his ass. Yes. Yes. We have to save them. We've got all the kids on board. No. Animals. The rest of them. Oh, please tell me they all come running with like baby animal raccoons and all this stuff, please. How many? Yay, animal lives matter like humans. Yay. <laughs> she threw bro. Oh. Thought we were limiting it. <laughs> really? Quill. What do I feel like Gamora's gonna shout for him? Is she gonna catch him? Heart? What the? Huh? Really, the two fingers? The freaking the two fingers, Adam and Eve, or the yeah, it's like that. Uh, I'm sorry if your body looks like that. I don't think you can come back from it. Cool. No, far from it. Come on. Oh, she's relieved. You can hug too. <laughs> Awkward, like, hmm, should I fully go into this or should it be like? <laughs> he literally almost died for his iPod. I am Groot. Thanks. Just tell them I'm gonna be right. You understood what he said. He's remembering. There's gotta be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Four, huh? Ready? Or she's gonna be in something else. Yeah. But who you are ain't so bad. A little bit of a dick, but you know. We can work on that. <laughs> really? You're still two doing you're you you two are still doing the grunt greetings? I think I need to talk to everybody. I need a hug. <laughs> so your mother died in front of me when I was eight years old and I have been running ever since. I'm gonna need to take some Rocking can relate to that. I as well. Wait, are they breaking out? Like literally, pretty much. I love you all. You weren't born to be a destroyer. You were born to be a dad. I thought she was gonna say father. So you'll lead the guardians then? No. 
Rocket. The city. Well, the galaxy still needs its guardians. And you will make a better leader than I ever was. I love you guys. He spoke a different word! Several different words. I could hear, really hear Vin Diesel on that, though. The babies! Oh, it was Rocket's music player. Two thousands. What's two thousands? I love the baby little raccoons. I actually don't recognize this song. No, wait, I do know the song. Yeah, I remember the song. Okay, I remember. It's like when he was when he was younger, dancing with Lila and them. Ah, Jack's crying, you miss her. Oh, she's taking her babies with her. She, oh, she does have protection. She doesn't need Drax. She's good. Oh, you're crying, Drax. She's got her own family. Cosmo. The axolotl. I feel bad for him, too, in a way, because he lost his mom. Oh my god, I see the kangaroo and stuff. Okay, I was gonna say, wait, is there some final scene? <laughs> okay, I know that this is Marvel, so there's gotta be a, a cut, a cut, what do they call them? Ending cutscene? Yeah, there's gotta be an ending cutscene of this. Oh my god, they freaking show when the first one where Quill was yelling at that rat thing. Oh yeah, that's the thing that they eat. Linda Cardellini was Lila. Hmm. Okay. As much as I would want to watch all this, let me just see. Wait, what's that? Britney Spears and Corn. Corn? I gotta go with the man. Wait, are they the Guardians of the Galaxy right now? Carpenters do not have a single bad song. Adrian Ballou, both solo. Oh my God, the, the new Guardians of the Galaxy. What about you, Captain? Oh, this one's kind of special. Of course, the one that started all, and, or not started all, but was the first song. Groot, wake up. That's Groot now. Groot went Hulk. I think one of the best things about this series is that it brought old music to the forefront for the newer generations to appreciate. All right, let's see if there's more cutscenes. Let's go to the end. James Gunn Sr. Oh, did James Gunn's father pass away? Oh my gosh, this shot. Man, if she needs help mowing her lawn, I'll do it, but I kind of feel like her son should. How's this gonna end off? Don't get me started. Alien abduction, Kevin Bacon shares all. Will return. Right now he's just taking a little break. He's just having his cereal and stuff, but. You can't go back to ordinary life after something like that. Like that easily, I'm sorry. It's like it's like a it's like a vacation for him right now. Alright, well, I think that's pause. Yeah, it is. Okay. No wait, there now it is. Alright, uh let me go ahead and get in my thoughts. <laughs> Alright, so my thoughts for the movie. As much as I would love to ramble on for the next hour on this movie, I'm gonna try to keep it short. So, uh the plastering characters. Um I will say this, this is, like I said in the beginning of the movie, Rocket Rocket was, uh, or is my favorite character out of the Guardians. Um, so having a movie that was pretty much fo uh, like focused on him and his backstory and stuff, I would definitely say this is my favorite Guardians. Um, then it would be the second, and then the first one. Um, uh, because I, I will say, like, when in the second Guardians, I didn't really care for Drax. And I didn't care for Mantis. The only ones I really liked were... I even really care for Groot. I'm sorry. I know people love Groot and stuff. But the only ones I cared about were were Quill, Gamora, um, Nebula, and Rocket. Um, but Rocket was my favorite. Um, but, yeah, this one's definitely my favorite now. 
Um, probably one of my favorite Marvel movies, actually. Um, okay, so... The story for this, I really liked. Um, I like that they even... Like, they... T they Honestly, like, I know Disney owns Marvel, and I know Marvel, like... Marvel has gone dark before, so it's not like it's... It's crazy. For, no, like, it's mind... Like, mind-blowing that they went for, to a animal testing route, and you see kind of, like, the grimness of it. Um, but it still surprised me because they still censor some of it, I'm sure, with it being Disney and stuff. But, like, with what they showed here for the for what they did to Rocket and to Lila and to uh, Floor and to Teeth? Tooth? I think it was Teeth. Um, like, what they did to them and then the other animals, like, that was kind of hard to watch. Because I've seen movies about animal testing, like, um, the... It was an animated movie um, about two dogs, and I think it's an animated film from Europe. Um, the Plague Dogs. Yeah. That one was dark. Uh, I thought that one was dark. Like, this one, I think actually the only two movies I've seen on animal testing was that one, and now this. To this extent, at least showing how bad it can be. Like, them, it was animal testing for, like, more, like, um, cosmetics and things like that. This was just animal testing from a... What, how far he could twist them or change their brain makeup, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. Um, and I think it is a good thing to show because that stuff does go on. Um, so, and they handled it. It didn't feel like it was shoved in your face in a preachy way. It definitely felt like it matched Rocket's background. Like, how was he made? Like, unless there's some kind of raccoon species out there that's just anthropomorphic. But it's like, no, you can tell from his hands that he had, like, robotic things in his hands. So he obviously had to have been made by someone. So, and I'm sure this is in, like, the comic books and stuff. And so they finally implement the movies. Um, but I do like how this was, how they handled his backstory and everything. Um, I also like, uh, like, the side thing with Gamora and, and Quill, you know, them trying to him trying to kind of he wants like he wants Gamora back but it's not her so and she's kind of like she's still Gamora but she's not the Gamora that he fell in love with and I like how it kind of goes from like him being drunk okay, I love you dearly ma'am but but the point of him missing her so much that he's drinking uh heavily and then to the point that he even looked at Nebula and was like mm. Yeah, she is kind of like Gamora. Maybe I'm attracted to her. And then, you know, Nebula being like, no. <laughs> so you can see it's almost like the stages of his grief. Where it was, that be drinking would be denial. Then when he went after Nebula, it was like, I think there's like four stages of grief. I forgot what the, there's, I know the first one I think is denial. And then there's a, and it was just acceptance. So you can tell by the end of, the movie that when he was looking at Gamora it was he accepted that she's not his Gamora and that she's different like you could see in the in the cutscene um where she's with her 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 family that's her family it's not the guardians anymore like she probably I think they I don't would they, I wonder if they are going to bring Gamora and Quill back together but like for how it seems now if this is the final guardians movie even though it literally just said Star Lord World Return Though, I doubt it is the last one. But if they don't bring Gamora and Quill back together, like, how they ended it off, I think, is a good way. That it's, like, he understands she's not as Gamora. He still loves her, but it's kind of like, you know what? You live your life. You know, you've got your own family. I got mine, which is the Guardians. Um, and that kind of thing. Uh, what else? Um, a bit. And then you had... I think it was actually quite interesting how the scientist guy... Okay, this is going into characters, but... Um, this The God Complex guy... Interesting how he... Like, I really am curious about his backstory. Like, what made him the way he was? What happened that made him believe, you know what, there is no God. So I... Pretty much, for him, it's... There is no God, so... I will become God. Very twisted way of him doing stuff, like... Wiping whole, like, literally making a whole civilization and then just wiping it in, like, like that. 
without care, a care in the world um, just because they were imperfect and then he made a better uh, better version of them um, like he was a good villain like I definitely like I hated him uh, I felt no remorse for him getting beaten up by the guardians uh, but like he was a good villain it wasn't just like oh yeah he's bad guy mohaha kind of like thing it was he was good like probably my fa honestly probably I actually probably like him as a villain more than Thanos like Thanos you look at Thanos's backstory and how his planet died um so like I'm trying to remember because it's been a while I think last time I watched Infinity War was literally when it like around the time it came out maybe a year after I watched it again um but like I could sympathize more with Thanos to an extent, and I didn't, like, sure, seeing all of our favorite Marvel characters get Thanos snapped was hard. And then losing Iron Man, like, made me tear up and stuff. But uh, that's because I grew up with Iron Man and Robert Downey Jr. and all that stuff in those movies, so it was hard to lose him. But as a villain hating him, or hating a villain, I didn't hate Thanos as much as this guy. This guy, I just was like, yeah, no, he could, please, Thanos snap him, and I would be, joy like, like, super happy. Um, so, great job on the villain. Um, amazing job with Rocket's backstory. I really did feel for him, and, oh my god, did I feel so bad for, like, and the fact that Lila and Rocket probably had a little romantic feelings toward each other, that makes it even more sad with what happened. Um, and then you, like, got the pan out shot too, where it went from, like, him shooting the guards, and then it pan, like, there's silence, and then it just pans to, okay, I love you dearly, man, but you're moving my stuff. But, like, the panning to them both being dead behind him, that was, like, it was done so well, but it hurt so much, too. Um, like, I didn't fully cry. I tried holding back as much as possible. The one that really almost got me was um, all the baby raccoons just looking at Rocket and then, climb, and then starting to climb on, like, not climbing on him, but the one that started to climb on his nose and then he was starting to tear up. It's like, mm. <laughs> that one, that one got me the closest to crying. Um, but yeah, pot, sorry, 10 out of 10. Uh, I also like, oh, that's another thing. I like the, I'm pretty sure the guy with the, Whistle and the Needle. I'm pretty sure that is the son of the guy who originally owned that. That pat that got killed in the previous movie. Um, I like that it shows that he's not confident with it. Confid con confident with it. And then he becomes confident with it. Um, I like that. I like that Rocket becomes the leader of the Guardians now. So, and which is what he's wanted. He wanted to be the leader. He wanted to be the one to lead his friends to the sky and all that stuff. Um, I love Cosmo. Uh, she was adorable. <laughs> like, she didn't have a ton of screen time and stuff, but she is honestly one of the most memorable, memorable characters for me from the Guardians universe right now. Um, loved her. Uh, I, I honestly don't think of... Also, Nate. I kind of wish Nathan Fillion had a bigger role, but I get it. He was, he was pretty much just one of the guards like captain guards of the place um it was great to see him but um also i love the designs of a lot of the creatures like especially like um the pig uh creature and then yeah it was the pig creature and then the other one like very dystopian like creature terminator kind of thing like pretty dark looking um for marvel movie by Disney I'll be honest uh but it was cool um yeah I mean honestly like plus story 10 out of 10 characters can't think of any that I'm like they're okay I love that Quill got a happy ending to see his grand like his grandfather's still alive we have Mantis wanting to go on her own oh yeah and the creatures that Mantis befriended those are cool um I like Drax's development that he's not just a dumb idiot he 
a very he's a very caring father but but i still like when i originally thought of drax like saw drax and when he was introduced i'm like wow this guy's real dumb like i feel for him and what happened to his wife and his child but at the same time like this uh i feel for him but i don't really care for drax now i'm like oh he's a he's like a big dummy sweetheart <laughs> kind of thing um yeah uh uh, Nebula I actually really liked in this one. Um, quite a lot of funny moments. Like, some of them are kind of like, oh god. But, quite a few of them made me laugh out loud, which you guys heard. Um, but yeah, characters. 10 out of 10. Animation, or, not even animation, but special effects. 10 out of 10, very good. Not Avatar Way of Water, amazing, but, I mean, that's kind of dumb to compare. They, they've taken... That kind of stuff to a whole new level but this was still really 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 good like i it, it's kind of like stylized to sort of in a way and i like that i don't expect everything to look realist super realistic so this looked like great um so i would give anime uh, special effects 10 out of 10 the music a lot of copy music. i'm gonna i'm hoping this reaction i don't have to cut too much or i can't i hope i can upload it all um but the music that wasn't obviously songs uh background music was good like i i it fit the movie fit the tone the sad scenes were sad the action scenes were like usually they have songs playing over those but they were like actiony drama was dramatic like it was just good music so i would give the music the music itself not memorable like i can't think of a specific scene where i was like wow the music was just really good there it did what its purpose which was made you feel extra feels so um i would give the music never mind even the songs i would give the music like a i don't want to be mean and say like a seven because it just wasn't memorable to me like the music itself i can't think of but it did what it, its job so i guess i give it like a I, I would be seven because I want to go lower. Because part of me is like go five or six, but I'll go seven. Um, so yeah, overall favorite Guardians movie. Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna make another one. I look forward to that. Even though Rocket's my favorite, so I don't know how much I'll like the next one. But I'm curious to see where they take it from here. Um, I know James Gunn got brought back because of the flack Disney got for firing him because of his past stuff. Um, so I'm wondering if James Gunn's going to be rehired to direct the movie, the next Guardian again. I mean, he's kind of the one that's been running this, or he's the one that's been directing this whole series. So it'd be kind of weird not to have him because I feel like he's the one with the ideas. And that's the other thing too, real quick, I'll say before. You know, my thoughts are probably already going on long enough. The backgrounds, this, like the space, the designs of the environments, the designs of, um like the god complex guys place uh location it was gross but it was different and like it felt alien like it feels like these are actual plants or these are places that could exist in the universe or universes so uh kudos to the des uh designers for that um uh, but yeah uh, before I go on any further, uh, those are my thoughts for the movie. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. Links in the description and comment below. But anyway, wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep bringing bright. See ya!